All right, Daf Kuf Chaf. Wednesday is Daf. Heishan Araba. We have been discussing B'nai's Tzlavchad, how they were awesome. They were Chachmaniyais because they knew when to ask their Shaila. They were Darshaniyais because they knew the Tarsh Bal Peh about a Ben having Kedima. And we ended off yesterday saying that they were also Tzidkaniyais because they didn't get married to someone who wasn't Roy for them. And now we're picking it up on Kufiyot Tesamid Bays, five lines from the bottom. Tony Rabbi Eliezer Ben Yaakov, Afilu Ketana Shabohen Leinisus Pchus Miyar Boim Shana. Even their youngest didn't get married before they were 40 because they had to find the right chosen. Practically, Mara Aini, Bomer of Chizda, Nisus Pchusim Bas Esrim. If a woman gets married before she's 20 years old, so she's healthy, Ye let us add Shishim, she'll be able to have children until she's 60. But Bas Esrim, if she only gets married after the age of 20, then Ye let us add our boyim. But Bas Arboyim, if she only Lichachila gets married when she's 40, Shivani Ye let us, she won't even be able to have any children. So what would be the heter for the nice Tzlochah to wait around until they were already 40 before they got married? Now, before we see the Gemara's Teretz, there's a really interesting Tysis here that just makes the Cheshman that if the nice Tzlochah all only married after they were 40, that this is going like the idea that the Mekoshesh was Tzlafchad. And that happened after the Maisa Meraglim, right? Everybody in Klal Yisrael was very despondent after the Maisa Meraglim and they thought Chas V'Shalom, the Rabbani Shalom, abandoned us. So the Mekoshesh purposely was Mechal Shabbos in order to get the Mises Bezdin and show everybody in Klal Yisrael that things haven't changed. So if you're learning like this, he was essentially doing an Avera L'Shem Shamayim. That's what Taisa says, to L'Shem Shamayim Diskab. And that's why Klal Yisrael would never think that they're not Mechuyi B'Mitzvahs anymore just because they can't go into Eretz Yisrael. So the first thing to talk about is hashkafically whether there is a makam to do an Aveir Lishma. But the other really fascinating thing about this Tysis is the Marsha over here. Because the Marsha says, as bad as the Makaishish did, it wasn't as bad as you might think because it was a Malacha She'en Tricha Lagufa. He was never really trying to do a Malacha of Shabbos. He was trying to wake up Kalal Yisrael. So that's considered a Malacha She'en Tricha Lagufa based on his Kavana. And the Marik and Achuva and Ramesha Feinstein talks about this. This idea of if I'm doing something for an ulterior motive, that makes it into Malacha She'en Tricha Lagufa. If you think about it, that would patter so many Yisuri de Raisa. That means if someone's doing something because of a perceived need, let's say Pikuach Nefesh, you don't have to come out to being Deichen Yisur de Raisa of Malacha Shabbos for Pikuach Nefesh. I'm doing it because I want to save the guy's life, and therefore it should be a Malacha Shein Tzrich Lagufa. So definitely an important Myra Mokam in that whole sugya is going to be this Marsha over here. But anyway, getting back to our Gemara's question about their age, so Elamitech should say, Kani Yisain, because... They were such tzidkaniyais. Nase lo henes ki yecheved. They were able to be slimech on the fact that they could have that nes. Just like yecheved. Dechsev, v'yelech ish mebeis levi, v'yikach es bas levi. This is the origin story of Moshe Rabbeinu. That the ish mebeis levi went. Interesting that it doesn't actually say Amram's name and only starts off with this ish mebeis levi and took the bas levi. There are different ideas, either because we want to start off with the Sefer Gula with Moshe Rabbeinu being the first character's name being told. But another idea I heard was that maybe the Gula had to come al a human being, contrary to other religions where we're stressing the fact that it was an ish mi base levi who took a bas levi who's all human beings Uncle Pana moving over to Medalif Efshar bas mea v'shleishim shana v'kar lo bas we called her a bas levi which implies a younger woman but she's 130 she's an old lady at that point to Omer Rebbe Chama Bar Chanina zu yoy chaved shay rosa baderech v'noldu ben achaymais that she was conceived when they were going from Eretz Canaan to Mitzrayim and she was born ben achaymais of Mitzrayim dechsev asher yolda oisel le levi be Mitzrayim which means only le dosa be Mitzrayim however v'hay rosa shle Mitzrayim. But we now know how old she is because if she was only born when they went into Mitzrayim, I mean she was 130 by the time she married Amram. But my Karela Bas, why did we call her a Bas? Omer of Yehuda Bar Zvida, Alam Shinolda by Simone Nairus. A nace happened and she became like a young woman. Nesada Rabosar, Nispashtu Haktamim, her wrinkles went away. And she once again got the Derech Noshim, Udam Nida, etc. So in the same way that Yechebet had that nace, so too the Benoist Slavchad were the Tzidkaniyais. Getting back to that Pasuk Vayikach, that Amram took a Bas Levi Vayachzer mi Boile. It should have said he retook her because this is the second marriage of Avram Yechevet. He's making Magzer Grushasay. So why does it make it sound like it's a first wedding? Amram Yehuda Bar Zvida Malam Echa Asel Amaisa Lekuchin. It was like a first marriage. Hashiva Apirian made a Chashiva Chupa or a fancy chair. The Aaron and Miriam and Meshirin Lefaneha. And this is a great image. Little Aaron and little Miriam were singing in front of their mommy who was getting remarried. I mean, if you think about it, Aaron and Miriam, they were really little. Miriam was six and Aaron was three. The Ramban even asks him for a kasha. Typically a three and a six-year-old at the chuppah would be walking down to the tune of It's a Small World after all. But we do know that Miriam was already receiving Navu at this time. And the Ramban says that Aaron learned from his elder sister. Okay. Al Kopanam, they were singing at the Chasna. Getting back to Benai Tzlafchad. Lahalon man on a cause of Derech Du Lawson. In Parshas Masse, when it lists the daughters of Tzlafchad, it lists them in order of age, which is Machla Tirza, Chagla, Michla, and Naya. Vikan Derech Chachmosan. But when they're talking to Marisha Bain and Parshas Pinchas, it goes according to their 
their Chachma, which was Machla Noya Chagla Michla and Tirza. So Masayele Rabbi Ami, Dom Rabbi Ami, be Yeshiva when it's in Yone Halacha, Holchacher Chachma, because that was going on in Parshish Pinchas. But Mimasiba, like by Achasna, Holachacher Sikna, where it's not a Din Torah, but rather something like where you're giving cover to somebody at a Suda, you'll go in order of age. Amar of Ashi, Vuhud de Miflig be Chachma. That's only if there's a big discrepancy, where one is much more Chachmatic than the other one. Vuhud de Maflig Bezikna, also there's a larger discrepancy in terms of age. Tana de Ver Bishmoel, Benay Slavchad Shkula is how you, there's another opinion that they were all equal. Shenamar, Batihiena, Havaya, Achas Lukulan, they were all the same. And the Rashbam explains that's good for the reason why the Torah switches the order from Parshas Pinchas to Parshas Masai to show you that there really was no hierarchy in either way. They were all the same. Amr of Yudam Rashmuel, but I slavchod hutruli nasi lechol hashvatim. Hey, yes, there was an iser for that darishan to marry out of their shevet. It wasn't that way for Benai Slavchad, Shanamar Latoibe Nehem, Tihiana Lanoshim, which sounds like you can marry whoever you which sounds like you can marry whoever you want. Elamani Mikhaim Achl Mishpachas Mate Avihem Tihiana Lanoshim. It's a Taiva Hesiana Kosov. That was just giving them advice. Shalo Yinosu El Hogan Lahen, but Nevada they were allowed to marry whoever they want. Rekti Gemara Moisiv Rabba Rabba asked them the Bryce that says Emer Alehem when the Torah was saying there was an iser to eat. Things that are hegdish when you're tame, la oisin ha'im de malhar sinai. It talks about them who were by matan taira, and le doyre sechem, a lu doyre saboy, and that you need le doyre sechem to say even not just that generation, but even future generations also have that iser. So im nemer avais, lama nemer bonum. Why do we have to say that the avais are aser, who speak that adafka if they were by matan taira, and then also the bonum, meaning the future generations also? Vim nemer bonum, lama nemer avais. Why do we need both? If ne shiyesh ba avais, ma shein ba bonum, viyesh ba bonum, ma shein ba avais. Ba avais hu amar, bechobat. And that Isser wouldn't apply to the future generations. It's only that Darishan. And there are many mitzvahs that were only given to the Bonim. That the people who were by Matan Torah didn't have, like Lamashal Mitzvah Satsuli's Bards, the Rashbam says, because those things were not Negeah. So, since there are independent mitzvahs that only apply to one of those categories, not the other one. So now we go back to our Kasha. So, Katani Mias, Ba'avis, Wamar, Vachobasi, Reshes Nachala. Lagabe, the obvious, it says that you're allowed to marry from somebody, that the daughter will inherit the Nachala. So it sounds like the Benais Tzlavchad were not allowed to marry whoever they wanted to. But it's not really a kasha. That mitzvah, that the women who receive Nachala have to do that by marrying people from their own shevet, that was for all the women, except for the Benais Tzlavchad. Omar, mar, ba'avos, wamar, v'chol basi, areshes, nachala. This b'risa, which assumes that it was only that first generation, ba'avos, in, ba'bonim, lay, my mash. How do you know that there was only that iser of marrying out of the shevet for that first generation? But not once they went into Eretz Yisrael. Amar Rava, because Amar Kra Zeh Dover Dover Zeh Lo Yehi Noy Gel Bedar Zeh. Okay, so that's the drush we make. That's a Zeh Dover. Yeah, but that's not so posh. Amar Le Rava Zuti Le Ravashi El Ameyata. If you tell me Zeh Dover, what about Zeh Dover de Shchute Chutz? Hachinami Lo Yehi Noy Gel Bedar Zeh. Avada the Isser Shchute Chutz exists even beyond that Dar Rishain. And for the Gemara Shani Hasam Dichsiv Le Doy Roisam. So now you're being Marba all the future Bunim, all the future generations. Also for the Isser Shchute Chutz. Turning over Damid Beis Zeh Dover de Roshe Matas. Okay. What about the parsha of Hafaras Nedarim that also says Zeh Hadover? How can I be delayed? No, Yigal Bedar Zeh. On the layer, Vashi says back to Rabbi Zutai, who Yolif Zeh Zeh may awesome. We're making a Gzeira Shava. Zeh and Zeh exists in both parshias, and therefore we can learn out also that it's future generations. So, for the Gemara, how can I be delayed? Zeh Zeh may awesome. In the same way, we don't like to make a Hegesh Lamechza. Don't make a Gzeira Shava Lamechza. Take it all the way back and say the Isser of marrying outside the Shavit should also go to future generations based on the Zezeh. I need to have the Gzeir Shava to establish this Kesher between Hafaris Nadarim and Shchut Echutz. But why would I need to make a Gzeir Shava to tell me that this Isser would go on all the generations? The starting point would just be that I would assume it would go Ladaris. So I don't need to be Mamai at it and then have a Gzeir Shava be Marbet. Now let's understand the Gzeir Shava. My Gzeir Shava. De Tanya, the Bryce says, Nemer Khan, Zeha Dovar, but Nemer Lahlan, Zeha. Hadavar, so Malahalon Aaron Uvanov, Vichol Yisrael, Avkan Aaron Uvanov, Vichol Yisrael, Umakan Roshe Hamatais. Afla halon roshe matais. Just like the Isser of Shchute Chutz was referring specifically to the the roshe hamatais. So two by first and darim, and we'll explain what this means soon. Omar mar mala halon aranuvana v'chol yisrael afkan aranuvana v'chol yisrael l'may hilchasa omar of acha bar Yaakov l'emir shafar and darim b'shloish hadyaitais. You don't have to have such chosh of the people. You can even do a first and darim with hadyaitais. Of course, doesn't mean they can be amaratzim and yeshve kronis. The Ran and Darim is very clear. They have to be able to understand the svara, etc. 
As we know from Arab Rosh Hashanah, the Rav always makes the point that you have to make sure that you can understand the Svara and you know the difference between a Pesach and Charata, etc. Frek the Gemara, V'ho Rosh Hashanah Ksibbe, which would imply you can't just have Hedyaitais. The Gemara says, Kedom Rav Chizdom Rav Yechen Miyachin Mumcha. The Rosh Hashanah tells you that a Yachin Mumcha can take care of it. Hachinami be Yachin Mumcha. Ay, Uma Khan Rosh Hashanah Hafla Halon Rosh Hashanah. Also, Shchut Echut should only be for Rosh Hashanah. What would be the halacha that we're learning from there? Lamai Hachasa, Omer of Sheishes, Lamer Sheish Sheila Behegdish. That you're allowed to be Shreya. On Hegdish, just like you be shoyal on a netter. This is actually a very fascinating thing. I could be shoyal on Hegdish, which is kind of amazing because if you're makdish something and you're shoyal on it, then what happens to the shechita? What happens once you give it to the kayane? Is it limitless when you could do that shayla? It's going to have all kinds of repercussions if you are shoyal something later. Can you be shoyal on your truma? Rabbi Rosenbaum used to be fond of a machlekes chavas yar and taz if it's mutter to be shoyal on truma, because according to the chavas yar, you're creating retroactively a bracha levatala on that afrasha. The taz says that there's no bracha levatala because because it wasn't Levatala, since Bishas Maisa, it had a Tzairich. I was making the bracha. It's not a time machine. It just means that Mikan Haba, there won't be any Din Truma. But the Chavis Yara holds La Maisa, it didn't get used, and therefore it blives Bracha Levatala. Sign Sugya, but an interesting little tie in. Go a little weiter. Ulu Be Shamai Damri Ein Sheil Be Hegdish. Since La Maisa, according to Be Shamai, you can't go ahead and be made for on Hegdish, like we learned in the Mishnah in Nazir. Be Shamai Imram Hegdish Tais is Hegdish. Be Silo Imram Ein Hegdish. So Hai Ze Vize Mayavdile. What according to Be Shamai are you going to do with this Xer? of Zeh and Zeh. According to Beishamai, the Zeh HaDover is going to tell me the, that you're going to have an Isser Karis if you do a Shkut Echutz. But that's Davka Shkut Echutz. You're not going to be Chayev for Malika, for a Hegdish like a bird, for Malika Shkutz. The Zeh HaDover by Davka the Rosh Hamatas by Hafaris Nadarim. Lechacha Matir ve'en Baal Matir. And Baal Mefer ve'en Chacha Mefer. There's a difference between a Baal and a Chacham because as you remember from Nadarim, there's a difference between Hafara and Hatara, whether it's Megiz Gaiz or or it's retroactively removed, but, but that chilik is enough for Beishamai to use the Zeh and the Zeh. We're going to pick it up from Ula Beishamai on tomorrow's daf, which will be Shmini Atzeris' daf.